Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So, uh, Miami managed to get the job done. They went into Boston, uh, Game 7, and managed to come out as the victors. And I, I gotta be honest, man, this was maybe one of the most depressing, like, Game 7s I've watched in quite a while. Um... Jason Tatum rolls his ankle in the first quarter, which is never fun. Like, literally, on the, I think it was like the first possession of the game, he rolled his ankle. And that's never fun because then it's like, obviously, one team is not playing at full capacity. Um, but even if Jason Tatum was playing at full capacity and was like, you know, 100% healthy when he played... They played so fucking bad that I really don't think, uh, even if Jason Tatum doesn't roll his ankle, that they had a chance of winning the game. Um, Jalen Brown was atrocious. Um, one of nine from three, eight turnovers. I mean, it, like, that's that's pretty fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, your second best player, your uh, all-NBA second team player, managed to commit eight turnovers, only shoot one of nine from three. Um, if I'm correct, if I look at the stats, I think he shot like seven of 23 from the field. There's some crazy shit like that last night. Like, if I look at the box score, Jalen Brown shot eight of 23 from the field last night. Um, he had eight turnovers. He had the most, tur he was like pretty much solely responsible for all the turnovers that Boston had last night. Um, Jason Tatum, five of 13 from the field. Wasn't good, but we'll give him the rolled ankle. He scored 14 points, 11 rebounds, four assists. Um, one of four from three. Really the only guy that really played well for Boston last night was Derek White. And unfortunately, like that's the story of the game for Boston. Like they, they just played so fucking bad that, I, I'm, I'm like, it did not look like the same Boston team that I had seen that came back from, you know, being down 0-3. Um, so, I, I want to say that I'm very impressed with Miami. Um, this was just as much good Miami as it was bad Boston uh, in this game because... I, I'm just going to say this, man. I did not think Miami would be able to go into TD Garden and win Game 7. I, I really didn't. Like, home court advantage means a lot when you're playing in Game 7s. Um, I think it's it, it's a huge benefit to whatever team gets it. But Boston just didn't capitalize on it. They played fucking horrible. I mean, they, they, were, they shot, I think, as a team when I stopped paying attention to it, okay? They were shooting 5 of 23, or 5 of 24 from the three-point land. And I think that was in the third quarter. Um, Caleb Martin had a big game. Um, he, I think he had like 26 last night. Um, Jimmy Butler had 28 and ended up being uh, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. They they just played well as a unit. Gabe Vincent seemed to have it going. Um, and, and you know what, man? I, I got to give some credit here to Eric Spolstra because everything Boston tried to do wasn't working. Like... I've never seen a team, like, I, there's a lot of teams that do it, but I've never seen a team do it as well as Miami that goes to, from a zone defense into man-to-man -man almost immediately and does it so fucking well. Um, you know, like, Eric Spolstra doesn't get a lot of credit that I think he deserves as being, like, one of the best coaches in the NBA. Um, I think he's certainly making a case for it, but I, I like, there's not a lot of team. like, I really honestly don't know if another coach could have taken an eighth seed and beaten a one seed and then beat Boston of all teams. Um, if they end up winning the NBA championship while beating Milwaukee, Boston, and Denver, like that's a pretty insane fucking, uh, you know, set of teams to go through to win an NBA championship. Um, and to be fair, like the Denver Nuggets are not going to be easy. Boston throughout like the playoffs has had a problem putting teams away, uh, it seems. But uh, I kind of had a feeling that was going to be the case with this game. Like Boston, just Boston's a great team. They're just not good at putting teams away. They let they let Miami get back into the game in Game Six and won off a buzzer beater, which probably should have ended the fucking series. If I'm being honest, like Marcus Smart's miss should have ended the series. They just got lucky that Derek White was there for a tap in with like what less than a second left. Um, so like that that put them in the conversation for game seven um but really like that was a game that like most people would say boston probably shouldn't have even won it uh so 
you know, I, I think Miami has showed a lot. Um, granted, I, I think this is going to be their only chance to win a championship. Um, you know, like I've admitted that I was wrong about Miami. I, I thought their championship window was over. Clearly it's not. But the thing is next year, Gabe Vincent's an unrestricted free agent. I think, uh, Caleb Martin, I think is an unrestricted free agent. They have Duncan Robinson on their roster. Victor Oladipo is probably going to come back on his player option and not play a single fucking minute. Cause I think he's going to be out for the most of the season next year too. And they don't have any cap space to work with. Like they're, they're one of the few teams in the NBA that stuck because of cap space. Um, I think Kyle Lowry has another year left on his deal. So like they have a lot of guys on their roster getting paid a whole ass ton of money that really aren't worth what they're getting paid. So, you know, the idea of them bringing in somebody else or bringing in a James Harden type player, I just don't think is going to happen. Maybe they get lucky and Kyrie signs there for the vet minimum, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to go to the Lakers and play with LeBron James. But uh, it was a very impressive win, to say the least. Uh, I I really did not expect Miami to go. I, 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 I'm going to be honest. I thought they would play well if Jimmy Butler had a good game. And Jimmy Butler obviously had a good game. He had a great game. So I, that's what I was worried most about was like, if Jimmy Butler doesn't show up, this is going to be a hard game to win. And uh, they had multiple guys show up for them. Uh, you know, uh, Caleb Martin showed up. Jimmy Butler showed up. So they, they had a lot of guys that showed up and did the right thing. So our NBA finals are going to be Denver and uh, the Miami Heat. And uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that pans out. So tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. I like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more on the Fast Break Report. And I'm um, out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.